Bye bye legs. Hey guys, welcome back. We're on week four, day three. Bye bye legs is the workout of the day. All right, Michael, I'm gonna take us through what we're doing. Sure, so starting off with the warm up, guys, we have a six minute AMRAP. We'll start off with 20 jumping jacks, 20 running high knees, 20 running butt kicks, five walkouts, and then 10 air squats. So six minutes of that. Then you go over to the mobility, 30 to 45 seconds each stretch, starting off with arm circles forward, and then we'll do arm circles backward, chest stretch along the wall, prison stretch on the wall, uh, base of the lunge, pigeon stretch, and base of the squat. That's all the mobility. And for the strength, we're gonna do three sets. You're gonna have your dumbbell or kettlebell in the goblet position, so in front of the chest. You'll do 30 goblet lunges, stepping backwards, alternating legs, so it's 15 per leg. Straight into 30 goblet squats, and then you'll put your weight down, you go up against the wall, and then you do a wall sit for a minute, or just as long as you can go for. Um, once that minute is up, then you'll rest two minutes. And then we'll repeat that for three rounds. And that's finishing off with something really spicy. I've done this many times. I love this workout. Um, four times, you have 100 alternating uh, dumbbell or kettlebell hang squat clean thrusters. It's quite a mouthful. We'll show you guys what that movement looks like in a second. But every minute, you have to stop and do five burpees jumping over the dumbbell laterally, and then go back to your uh, squat clean thrusters and continue where you left off until you finish 100 reps. That's the wad of the day. Okay, that's why we're saying goodbye, legs. So, in just a second, we'll take you guys over to the floor and go through each one of these movements. All right, guys, welcome back. So let's start off with the warm-up. So the movements for the warm-up, starting off, 20 jumping jacks, so everything starts together, jumping arms and legs out to the side, and then back to the middle. So 20 jumps, 20 running high knees on the spot, just like you're sprinting on the spot, raising up your knee as high as possible. Same thing, but now you're kicking back and trying to kick your butt on the spot. And then walkouts, start from standing, walk your hands out, full push up, chest to the floor, and then walk your hands all the way back, keeping your legs as straight as possible. Scale version would be walking your hands out, down to the knees, full push up, back to the toes, and then walk your hands back to your feet. After that, just 10 air squats, so set your feet just wide to the shoulder width, all the way down, trying to get the hip crease below the top of the knee, and then keeping your chest nice and upright. Full extension at the top. So, that's our warm-up, moving on to the mobility. Arm swings, just swinging forward, just do that for about 30 to 40 seconds, and then we'll switch and go backward, and then we're going to go up against the wall into our chest stretch, so arm along the wall, and use the other arm to kind of pivot and push your body away, and keeping the arm above shoulder height along the wall. Prison stretch, both hands on the wall now, facing the wall, step back, push your hips back, Keep your hands above your back and then pull your chest down towards the floor, keeping your arms as straight as possible. Uh, next one will be down into our lunge. So nice long lunge here. He'll hold his front foot and then drive his knee out with the elbow with that inside arm as he tries to drive his hips down towards the floor. Hold that for 30 to 45, switch sides. Same thing on this side. And then he'll slide his foot into pigeon stretch, which is our next one tucks his leg underneath him and across and tries to drop his hips down to the floor and then both arms will go in the floor in front of your leg. Relax there, it's just good for the upside of the hip there. We'll do that for 30 to 45 per side. Then he'll hop back up, set his squat stance, drop right into the base of his squat and drive his knees out with the elbows, nice and upright chest, good posture in the bottom. Okay, that's our last stretch. So let's look at the strength. So. Dumbbell or kettlebell in the goblet position. I find that the easiest way to hold it is you get it in your palms and you pinch the top of the dumbbell there, the one end of the dumbbell. Hold it really tight to your body, don't let it get away from you. So he would uh, just step forward a little bit. He's going to do alternating lunges, so he'd step back, barely touch his back knee, and then straight back up and keep alternating legs until he hits 30. Really focusing on keeping that front shin nice and vertical so his knee isn't sliding really far forward or really far back. So nice and vertical knee in the front, or shin, I should say. After he finishes 30, he'll go straight into 30 squats. So again, hip crease below the knee, 
upright chest, full extension at the top. You try and move through those pretty quick. Like the lunges, I want to make sure you guys are nice and controlled and really isolating. The air squats, you guys can move a little bit quicker. He'll put his dumbbell down, go up against the wall. His feet should be a couple feet away from the wall. And then he's going to slide to just below that 90 degree point, so his hip. So if I were to put a PVC pipe across his thighs here, it's not going to roll off forward or it's not going to roll back into his hip. It should stay right in that spot. And you're going to hold for at maximum a minute. Otherwise, you just go as long as you guys can. As soon as the minute's up, he'll stand up and then rest two minutes and repeat that three rounds. Let's look at the wide. So alternating, hang, dumbbell, squat, clean, thruster. Big mouthful there. So starting with the dumbbell, stand all the way up. He's going to dip down so the dumbbell's between his knees, jump up and drop into his squat, and then drive up overhead. That's one, okay? Now as he comes down, he'll switch hands, down to his knees, drop into his squat, drive up overhead. That's two. So he'll do a hundred of those, but every minute he has to stop and do five burpees over the dumbbell. So he'll start on the one side, jump his feet forward so that the rib side of the dumbbell, and then jump over top. Once he finishes five, then he can continue where he left off. So if he got, say, ten in that first minute, this next rep would be eleven. Okay? For this workout, when we say three, two, one, go, you start with the burpees at the beginning. So you do five burpees over the dumbbell, and then you start working away at these. And every minute, you gotta keep stopping and doing five burpees until you guys finish a hundred uh, hang and dumbbell squat clean thrusters. Okay? Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we're calling that one by my legs for a reason. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Enjoy.